Hello my lovelies, it's Megan Pugcakes and today I'm going to do my annual what I got for Christmas video. So this is just my way to send a little extra appreciation out to you wonderful people in my life who thought of me and got me such thoughtful things. So I'm going to start with what I got from my friend Sarah because we exchanged before Christmas. So first she got me this wonderful bag, which I'm going to always have because it is too cute to give away. Now it is possible I might be forgetting something because I have had this set aside for a while so I might have used something in that she's given me. So the first thing is this awesome funny book from Gemma Carell. She actually, her art inspired my pug tattoo. So she has got some really, really cute things and it is very relatable. So um, this is great. I love it. She also got me, oh, this is just so pretty. This is cloth zip up pouch. And what I really like is that it's not a cartoony unicorn. It's more artistic, so pretty. And yeah, you saw the other side, it says rare and beautiful and little pom-pom. And inside it were some smaller gifts. We have a couple pug stickers, mermaid pug. And I actually have a pin of this pug on one of my bags so this is gonna have to go on my laptop it's so cute she picked out several really cute pins for me i have baby yoda really like that this one's really cute it's two cats and a pig i believe that animal in the middle is a pig underneath a kotatsu a kotatsu for those who aren't familiar is a heated Japanese low table. So there's a heater in the middle of the table built in underneath. And then if you drape a blanket over it, it holds in all of that heat. And so that's a really great place in the winter to take a nap. And these kitties know what's up. Then we have a gym from The Office because I love The Office. And this adorable pooshie with a mug of tea. I, I don't have this one, but it's so cute. And this is one of my main gifts and it's really awesome. It is a pair of laser cut wood, the child earrings or Grogu. I love these. I don't have any like wooden earrings. I just think they're super unique. I really like these. I have a very adorable hug air freshener. It is two-sided. I haven't smelled this yet. I really hope it smells good because, I don't know, a lot of times novelty air fresheners are a little bit strong and I don't actually end up using them. But let's, let's see if I can put this in my car. Moment of truth. That's not bad. You know what? It kind of smells like, it smells kind of like evergreen trees. That's pleasant. This, yes, it passes the smell test. So I can put this adorable little guy in my car. She got me these awesomely cute Hello Kitty Christmas lip balms. Yay. And the final gift is this super cute baby Yoda. And I've seen this collection before. You can see the rest of the series on the side. I think I really want douche guy in the middle oh so cute but yeah this is super adorable i actually follow this artist on instagram and she does amazingly cute disney stuff so that was a very great gift it's it's always nice when you can tell that someone really knows you and we've been friends for a long time so thank you sarah so because i already sorted them out i'm gonna do the gifts i got for my in-laws they always get great things, uh, very thoughtful gifts, but this year I think they outdid themselves. It's just like, even 
more amazing. It just shows that over the years they've gotten to know me and clearly watch these videos. There is a theme. So just about everything in the box in that they gave me is this gorgeous shade of pink. And you will see some more cherry blossoms. This is the scent cherry blossom by Yankee Candle. <sighs> it's so light and fresh and springy and it's gorgeous just this is just so pretty to look at it'll look great in here when i'm crafting also in the vein of cherry blossoms which i love japanese cherry blossoms it, it don't have to be japanese cherry blossoms but i do love that so this is an umbrella it looks a little wonky right now so i'm gonna open it right here i i do feel wait a minute does that do anything I feel like there should be a button to open this. There's not a button to open this. Wait, can you, let's, this is not, am I doing this? Why am I doing this wrong? I did this wrong. Wait, why? Five hours later. Okay. Clearly I need to, to work on my umbrella opening skills, but why you need to see this open is because, one, you can just see that really pretty scalped edge, but the outside is a different color from the inside. And uh, since, as you might know, I live in Seattle, we do get a lot of rain. It, it's a, not a bad thing to have a collection of umbrellas in a state where it rains nine months of the year. So this is very thoughtful. And then we have in this box, so pretty are these very blossom earrings. And they have a sterling silver post, which is great because if you have sensitive ears at all, you won't get a reaction. So, and I do have sensitive ears, so that's perfect. This will match so much of what I have, including this very wonderful next item. This, like, so my mother-in-law does watch this channel, and like, I already knew that, but if I didn't know that, this shirt would prove that. Because not only is it the perfect shade of pink, look at this, never grow up. And it has all of the Disney World parks, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Magic Kingdom. So great, I miss Disney World too so much. This will be great to wear to the parks and just when I wanna keep the memories alive, which is like all the time. And last gift, also Disney related, is this super great puzzle. I do love puzzles. They've given me some great Disney puzzles, one of which we have framed in a computer room. This is a Lady and the Tramp. Sorry about the ring light. Let's angle this a bit. This is the Lady and the Tramp puzzle by Thomas Kincaid which he does some really beautiful Disney paintings. So this one's gonna be a really fun one to do and it's gonna look so pretty framed. And that is one of my favorite Disney movies. So thank you so much, Joe and Pam. You were so generous and did such a great job. I can really see your thoughtfulness. Thank you so much. So well, now I'm gonna get into the stocking stuffers. It is a very stuffed stocking. So this has stocking stuffers from my parents as well as from my husband. And the addendum to that is that my friend, the aforementioned Sarah, helped pick out the gifts from him that were in my stocking. And she's been kind of, past couple years, our personal shopper. And it is so appreciated because she has a gift for gift giving. So I will highlight what's from who. Okay, I'm gonna save the best for last though. Like, so from my parents, and you're gonna see a couple of these. We have some peppermint hot chocolate. There is some Mandalorian tea and some peppermint chocolate tea. A pair of very nice socks. These were for my dad. So, and this Sarah totally picked out because it is so awesome and it's the office. 
It's a quote that says, I'm pretty sure this sums it up, and it has the world's best boss mug that Michael Scott always has in his office. So I love that. My husband got these from my Amazon wish list, and they're these super adorable My Melody keycaps. Like you put them on the top of your keys so that if you have multiple keys that look kind of similar, this makes it easier to tell them apart. And my house key and I still have a house key and my parents' house are very similar. Of course, the keycaps are also very similar. So I'm going to have to like, our house will be my melody. Let's, we'll say that. Another office related gift are these Shroot Farms beat socks. So I apologize if you haven't seen the show because, well, first of all, you need to. And second of all, these gifts will make a lot more sense. From my parents, we have some Magic in the Air, Magic in the Air Bath and Body Works lotion. It's a very nice smell. Oh, this is also one my mom picked out. It is a very good quality pie server by Pioneer Woman, so it's cute, but it's also a lot nicer than the pie server or cake server uh, that I have. So that will be very useful. I do. I like baking. So if I haven't mentioned that already, look at this. I love this. This is one of my favorite stocking stuffers from my parents is this Baby Yoda Grogu enamel pen and he's holding this little cuppy. Got a little hand sanitizer that says be a good human and it is a simple citrus light flavor. Oh, I love these. This actually, okay. This was a stocking stuffer, that's right. These are scrunchies with mini ears. Ah, that's so perfect. These were from my husband, picked out by Sarah. You can get these from Claire's. Oh no, she got them at Hot Topic, yeah. So awesome, I can't wait to wear these. And my favorite stocking stuffer is like, it's so me picked up by Sarah, is these uh, amazing make your own ugly Christmas pug socks. Like, first of all, I have a collection of pug socks. Oh, other thing Sarah gave me in my Christmas gifts was a pair of Christmas pug socks. So there's that. Then she picked these out and I love that you have Christmas pug socks, which I have a collection of anyway. And then you add the crafting side and it comes with pom-poms and ribbon and the glue and everything you need to make your own ugly Christmas sweater pug socks. I mean, that's so perfect. So I'm gonna save these in the package for next December so I have a cute Christmas themed craft to do. So next I'm gonna show you a gift my brother did for me. One thing I mentioned in last year's video is that he and I have a tradition going back to high school where we pick out a Star Wars themed gift for one another. This is this year's gift. We found this artist, okay, who will take like kind of thrift store paintings and then add sort of fun nerdy elements to it. So for a second there, it looks like a normal lake scene, but oh, there's an AT-AT walker from Star Wars. What? So the plan, I love this. I think it's so funny and obviously won't go in here, but cause like aesthetically, but uh, my plan is to get it framed and matted from Michael's like really nice and then put this over one of our bookcases so my husband and I can both enjoy it. So thank you, Alex. That's so clever and awesome. So now I'll show you some of the main presents from my parents. So one of the gifts is unfortunately back ordered until March, but here is a picture of this adorable makeup brush set. So what I love about this isn't so much the brushes, although apparently even the handles have some really cute art on them, which I like. I just love the base. I think that stand is so cute. I think they captured his cuteness in the face, which I think is kind of hard to do. And they did a really good job with that. And I think 
even like without the brushes I would just use that as a cute stand in here and I would maybe use paint brushes with it. I really appreciate that they did order it for me and sometime in March I will have a Christmas present coming to me. I also got me this really cute iridescent unicorn weekender bag and it's got the bow straps. You kind of see I think from this lighting the rainbow sheen it has so cute and it makes me think about future trips what traveling is easier and safer to do they also got me this very cute pink fuzzy mini mouse pullover there's minis printed on it it's got the pocket in the front a fuzzy hood so it's a lot like a robe but it is a pullover and it's long it goes down to about my knees but i wear this with like leggings around the house and it's so cozy and warm this is from costco also another hot chocolate which flavor is this ginger red that sounds really good so thank you mom and dad i really loved what you guys got me so now the final pile which is from my husband. He definitely spoils me and I really love everything that he got me. So the first thing, uh, oh yeah, and let's talk about Christmas day a little bit, like my Christmas plans. We, you know, didn't have like a big get together, but we still had fun. Um, I had my brother and my parents over on Christmas Eve to watch a Christmas movie and have dinner, like just snacks and stuff because we really like doing that and we walked around the neighborhood afterwards and looked at Christmas lights and that was really fun we haven't done that before and that was really fun and then Christmas morning was just me and my husband and then that evening I made dinner and I opened gifts with my family so uh, we definitely made the most of the time we had together and that was really great so here are the gifts from my husband that I opened on Christmas morning. This is Chester, the Christmas bear, that's what I named him. So he, his only flaw, in my opinion, is that the hat isn't sewn on, so it comes off a lot. But he's super cute. He is by Gund, which is the company that makes the pushing plushes. They make really good quality plushes and I wanted a Christmas bear that could be waiting for me under the tree and that I can use as a decoration and of course a cuddle buddy during Christmas movies. Also in the vein of cuddly is this awesome soft Sherpa throw. This is from Claire's and it's got Boston Terriers and kitties on it and it's pink. These two things go together. I got this huge pack of makeup brushes so I've never had a big set I've only gotten like five at a time and these besides the fact that they're sizes I don't have they have this really pretty handle um, I've used some of them and I think overall they're pretty good I think some of the brush that some of the bristles I think are oh don't have I have too much give like they're not stiff enough but in general I'm very happy with this and it's really nice to have more to work with I also thought it'd be fun to get a palette I put this on my Amazon wish list as well so this well December not this month Morphe teamed up with Lisa Frank to do a set of palettes and other makeup accessories. That is not what this is. I of course really wanted one of those, but I knew that since they didn't come out till the middle of the month, there'd be, and shipping delays being what they are, it wouldn't get to me in time. Christmas, and they'd probably sell out. So I was like, what would be, what is like a backup that I can find on Prime? So I put this on my list. And it is a very Morphe-esque rainbowy palette. And I haven't got to try it out yet, but it looks very nicely pigmented. 
And it's a very similar set of shades that are in the Lisa Frank set. I still might eventually get one of those, but this is definitely the biggest palette I've had and has more in the color spectrum. So that will be really fun to play around with. Now, this is pretty neat. I wanted gifts that I could do things with, not just collectibles to put on my shelf. Those are always appreciated, but I wanted something that I could look forward to using in the new year. So it's by a brand called Garden Republic. This is a wooden box and inside is everything you need to make your own tea garden. So it comes with the instruction booklet, of course, but also Oh, this smells so good. Peppermint, lavender, chamomile, lemon balm. Those are our plants, and these all are plants that make really great herbal tea. I've only ever had them dry. Uh, aside from mint, I've only ever had those dried, so it will be interesting to have tea with them fresh. You have these soil pods. I love these. These are wooden stakes that has what it is and when you sow these seeds. Oh, cute. These are your these are your flower pots. So it's a burlap plastic lined and it's got drainage on the bottom so you can put your little pod of dirt and then your plants in there and you have everything you need and then it also has little pruning snips and it even has for when your plants are done a diffuser for your teas and what i'm hoping is that these will fit and i could almost use the box as a planter but i think that's really really cool garden republic has a bunch of other sets on amazon if you're interested another gift that he got me is this really cute Merry Christmas, Christmas Minnie and Mickey mug. I've been wanting some more Christmas mugs to add to my collection. As you can tell, I'm really into tea. And that means I'm also really into mugs. Like there are two collections that work really well together. Oh, and speaking of tea, look at this, so cute. So, this is by a brand I really love called the Republic of Tea. All these Republics of Teas. This is the Republic of Tea. They make really good quality tea bags and there's no string, which is really cool. You can just set it in the bottom of your mug. Uh, but I really obviously loved the packaging and I'm planning to reuse this when I'm finished with the tea and just keep it. And it is a green tea called the Child Green Tea. Now my favorite gift, the biggest gift, is Small World World of Warcraft Edition. And I realize that people who only know me on this channel would be like, wait, what? But I love board games and I love video games and I've been playing World of Warcraft since like 2007. My husband and I actually met in game. So the board game Small World is a very popular game that I've looked at before. But then it got a World of Warcraft overlay. Not only is this Small World territory far too tight for everyone, it also hosts the never ending conflict between the factions of the Alliance and the Horde. Dawn has broken and the time has come to take your place in the front lines. So you're, it, yeah, there's that risk-like element where you're battling over land and building your armies. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love this. Uh, I'm really excited to play it with our friend Chad. Hopefully, if you're watching this, this is when you'd want to play. And I could also see playing this with my brother because he's as into board games, if not more so, as I am. And of course, my husband as well. Thank you all again. I feel so blessed. And thank you for making me feel so loved. And like, you guys definitely know me really well. And that's so meaningful. 
So thank you so much and to the rest of you watching also thank you for being here and I hope you had a magical Christmas and a great day. Bye!